the thing with Nagata is that it can only be used when it is the same person doing the two actions simultaneously. However, if we want to talk about two different people doing the action simultaneously, as in he plays golf while I work, then you can say these sentences as two separate sentences. And you begin your second sentence with sono aida. Sono aida. So nagara is when the same person is doing the two actions at the same time. But we cannot use this, for example, we can't say watashi wa tabe nagara kare wa biru wo nomimasu because it's I and he are the two different people. So we can't say I eat while he drinks um, beer in this particular case. The only way we can say this in Japanese is if we have two separate sentences. So in the first sentence, we say what the first doer, the person doing the verb is doing. And then we start the second sentence with the word sono aida. And sono aida literally in English means during that time or during that duration. So we'll try this in a sentence. He plays golf. And during that time, I work. Kare wa golfu wo shimasu. Sono aida, watashi wa shigoto wo shimasu. Kare wa golfu wo shimasu. Sono aida, watashi wa shigoto wo shimasu. He reads a manga while I watch TV. Kare wa manga wo yomimasu. Sono aida, terebi o mimas. And I want to specify that. Watashi wa, terebi o mimas. Kare wa, manga o yomimas. Sono aida, watashi wa, terebi o mimas. And she goes to a concert while I go to the department store. Watashi wa, departo ni ikimas. Sono aida. Sono aida, kanojo wa konsato ni ikimasu. Watashi wa depaato ni ikimasu. Sono aida, kanojo wa konsato ni ikimasu. And we could have said kanojo wa konsato ni ikimasu. Sono aida, watashi wa depaato ni ikimasu. That's okay too. I went to the hotel by taxi. Watashi wa Takushide, oh no, hotelu ni takushide ikimashita. Watashi wa hotelu ni takushide ikimashita. And while you said watashi wa hotelu ni takushide ikimashita, it would have been okay to say watashi wa takushide hotelu ni ikimashita too. Both of those are okay. I went to the hotel by taxi while my friend drank coffee in the hotel. Watashi wa takushi de hoteru ni ikimasu. Except I went to the hotel, so it's past tense. Watashi wa takushi de hoteru ni ikimashita. Sono aede, sono aeda. Watashi no tomodachi wa hoteru ni hoteru de kohi o nomimashita. Watashi wa takushi de Hoteru ni ikimashita. Sono aida, watashi no tomodachi wa hoteru de kohi o nomimashita. And we also could have said here, watashi wa hoteru ni takushi de ikimashita. We could have changed the order. That would have been okay as well. And it's not always necessary. If we're talking about my friend, we, we don't always have to say watashi no tomodachi, because sometimes it's obvious from the context. That it is my friend we're talking about. So, in that case, it's perfectly okay to just say tomodachi wa. So far, we have learned two verbs which tell us if something or someone exists, and they also are used to say that you have something. What are these two verbs? Imas, arimas. Good. So, imas is used when we are saying that something animate exists or that we have something animate, like we have a family or we have a friend. And arimas is used when we're saying that something inanimate exists or that uh, we have something inanimate, like we have money. We've also learned a number of action words. So to eat. Tabemas. And to drink. Nomimas. To buy. Kaimas. To 
see or to look or to watch. Mimas. To do, to play, to make. Shimas. To speak or to talk. Hanashimas. To come. Kaimas. Kaimas is to buy. To Kimas. Come. And to go. Ikimas. To read. Yomimas. And to write. Takimas. And we've used these verbs in lots of different ways, and we learned that we can add endings to these words to express different ideas, such as let's, shall we, I want. And we've also used sochite. Now, the word sochite is used to link sentences together, and it's used at the start of a new sentence. But if we want to join two sentences together into one sentence, we can't simply put a word like and between the two sentences, as we do in English. So the Japanese language is like a jigsaw. If we want to join things together or make two sentences into one sentence, we have to make sure that the shape fits with whatever it is we're joining it onto. So if we want to join one sentence to another sentence, we have to make sure that the shape of the verb in the first sentence is in the correct shape to join it to another sentence. And it's very easy to make this necessary change. We can replace the mass at the end of the word with te. It's te, te. So tabe mas becomes tabete by just replacing mas with te. So if we had two sentences, I eat and I drink in Japanese, this would be watashi wa tabemas, nomimas. But if we apply our rule and replace mas with te, we can join the two sentences together. So watashi wa tabete, nomimas, means I eat and I drink. So we're joining two sentences and making them into one sentence. And notice how the last verb ends in mas, whereas the first verb ends in te. So watashi wa tabete no mimas means I eat and I drink. We could express this also by saying watashi wa tabemas, soshite, watashi wa no mimas. And this sentence means the same thing, except we are saying them as two separate sentences. But it begins to sound more natural and you're beginning to show a greater command of the Japanese language. If you are joining two sentences together into one sentence, it will sound a little bit more natural to say watashi wa tabete no mimas. So watch and eat. Mite tabemas. Perfect. So you've only put the first verb with the te ending and the final verb has remained with the mas ending. So I watch and I eat. Mite tabemas. Mite tabemas. I play tennis and talk. Tennis wo shite hanashimas. Tennis wo shite hanashimas. Speak and watch. Hanashite mimas. Hanashite mimas. Come and watch. Kite mimas. Kite mimas. So we've replaced the mas with te or te. However, not all verbs are regular. For example, buy and go. Both of these verbs are irregular. So we take the first syllable of buy and go, which is for buy it's ka and for go it's e. So you take the first syllable and if you go and buy something, it's tiring work, so you need to take a breather. So you take a small breath and then you say your te ending. So buy would be ka te. And go would be ite. So notice how I'm, I'm holding my breath slightly between the two sounds. So how would you say buy and go? Ka, te, i, te. Well, because go is the second verb here, oh, mas. It'll, mm. it'll stay with mas. Ka, te, i, mas. No, ikimas. Ka, te, ikimas. And rather than just saying ka and then leave a space and te, if you kind of just hold your breath slightly and go kate. So it's it's not it's just it's not a space, it's you're holding the sound kate. Kate. Perfect. Ikimas. Kate ikimas. And how would you say go and see? Itte mimas. Itte mimas. The te form of read and drink is also slightly different. The te form of drink is nunde. So we can think of, I drink none of that, none de. It's not non te, it's not te, it's de, non de. And you can think of the word drink beginning with d, so it's a de sounding. 
So I drink none of that, none they. And the te form of read is very similar. It's yonde. I read yonder, yonde. And it's also the D sounding rather than a T sounding. So the te form of drink is nonde. Nonde. And the te form of read yonde. Yonde. So drink and eat. Nonde tabemas. Nonde tabemas. And read and go. Yonde ikimas. Yonde ikimas. And the last verb we're going to do is kakimas. The te form of kakimas is kaite. And think of kaili is writing. Kai, kaite. And you should notice the difference between kate by and kaite write. And there's no link in meaning between kaimas, which is to buy, and kaite, which is the te version of, of to write. So the te ending for kaimas is kate, kate. And the te version of to write is kaite. So kaili is writing, kaite. So read and write. Yonde kakimas. Yonde kakimas. And write and read. Kate. Okay, kate is buy. Kaite. Kaite yomimas. Kaite yomimas. Eat and drink. Tabete nomimas. Tabete nomimas. Watch and go. Mite ikimas. Mite ikimas. Do work and go. Shikoto o shite ikimas. Shigoto o shite ikimas. Speak and watch. Hanashite mimas. Hanashite mimas. Come and see. Kite mimas. Kite mimas. Drink and eat. Nonde tabemas. Nonde tabemas. Read and write. Yonde kakimas. Yonde kakimas. Write and read. Kaite yomimas. Kaite yomimas. Buy and go. Kate ikimas. Kate ikimas. Go and come. Itte kimas. Itte kimas. And in fact, itte kimas is used a lot in Japanese. So when Japanese people are leaving their house, they say itte kimas, which means I go and I will come back. And instead of saying something like goodbye, um, like sayonara, they would always use the phrase, I'm going now, but I will, I will return. I will come back. Itte kimas. And they will say this to the person who's left behind in the house. Itte kimas. So we have said tabette no mimas for I eat and I drink. But of course we could say I eat and drink by saying two separate sentences. Watashi wa tabemas, full stop. So shite watashi wa no mimas. But also we can say watashi wa tabette no mimas. And it means that we are beginning to speak in longer sentences and show a deeper grasp of the Japanese language. And it's not necessary to say watashi wa tabette, watashi wa no mimas. We only need to say watashi wa once, as it will be understood. And this is different to when we were talking about doing two actions simultaneously, when we used nagara. When we use te to join two sentences, there is no emphasis on the actions being simultaneous. We are simply saying that one action follows another. And it is similar to and I also in English. It's also used to show the sequence in which the actions are done. Like in English when we say I do and then after that I do something else. So I do and I do. So we will now use this te form of the verb to join two sentences together. I watch and I drink. Mitte nomimas. And if we want to highlight that I'm the person doing it. Watashi wa mitte nomimas. Watashi wa Mite nomimas. I watch TV and drink beer. 
Watashi wa karabi o mite biuru o nomimasu. Watashi wa terebi o mite biuru o nomimasu. I drink and I watch. Nonde mimasu. And we want to highlight that I'm the doer. Watashi wa nonde mimasu. Watashi wa nonde mimasu. I drink coffee and watch a movie. Kohi o nom nomite. Okay, and no, no, non non day. Perfect. Ega o mimas. Kohi o non de. Ega o mimas. You said nomite as the te form of nomimas, and that is applying the rule. And if you were applying the rule, you would get nomite, but nomimas is irregular. So it's, it becomes nonde. So nonde is a te form of nomimas. And we could, if we wanted to highlight that it's I am the doer here, we could say watashi wa kohi o nonde ego mimas. He makes a phone call and he speaks Japanese. Kare wa denwa o shite nihongo o no nihongo de um, hanashimas. And you're right in both cases. You can say Nihongo o hanashimas or Nihongo de hanashimas. He speaks Japanese would be Kare wa Nihongo o hanashimas. He speaks in Japanese or through the medium of Japanese is Kare wa Nihongo de hanashimas. So either of those is okay. Kare wa denwa o shite Nihongo de hanashimas. He phones to Tanaka and speaks Japanese. And Think here that Tanaka is the destination of the phone call. Kare wa Tanaka san ni denwa o shite nihongo de hanashimas. Kare wa Tanaka san ni denwa o shite nihongo de hanashimas. And he phones Tanaka and speaks Japanese with him or with Tanaka. So we need Tanaka or him marked by the with marker. Kare wa Tanaka san wa. He's phoning to Tanaka. Oh, Tanaka san ni. Uh, den wa o shite nihongo o hanashimas. Perfect. Kare wa Tanaka san ni den wa o shite nihongo o hanashimas. And if we wanted to say he phones Mr. Tanaka and speaks Japanese with him, we want to put the with him bit into the second part of the sentence. What marker would he um, take? Because you're doing something together with somebody. Yes, it's to. Kare to nihongo o hanashimas. Kare to nihongo o hanashimas. And if we wanted to put it all together in a sentence, it would be kare wa tanaka san ni den wa oshite. Kare to nihongo o hanashimas. Kare wa tanaka san ni den wa oshite. Kare to nihongo o hanashimas. I go by bus and I buy flowers. Watashi wa basu de itte hana o kaimasu. Watashi wa basu de itte hana o kaimasu. And I go to the department store by bus and buy flowers there. Watashi wa departo ni basu de itte soko ni Hana kaimas. Hana o kaimas. You're almost perfect. With a very tiny, tiny error. And it, instead of saying soko ni, it's soko de, because you're doing the action in the place in the department store. But that's just a small, small well, because mistake. Because you're already there when, well, you, when you do the buying. You, the two sentences we're joining here are I go to the department store and I buy flowers there, as in in the department store. So in the first sentence, you're perfectly correct marking department store with ni, because the ni is the destination of the verb. But in the second sentence, the verb is to buy, and you're, you're buying in the department store, so you're already in the department store to buy the flowers. So it's marked by de. So it's always the final verb um, in that part of the sentence, which will determine the marker you use. So if the verb is ikimas. We know it's go, so if there's a place in that sentence with ikimas, the place is marked by ni. But if it's an action verb, as the verb by is, well then the place would be marked by de. 
and the whole sentence together. I go to the department store by bus and buy flowers there. Watashi wa departo ni basu de ite hana no soko de hana o kaimas. Watashi wa departo ni basu de ite soko de hana o kaimas. And our word order there could also have been Watashi wa departo ni basu de ite hana o soko de kaimas. I write a report and I drink coffee. Reporto kaite kohi o nomimas. Reporto kaite kohi o nomimas. I buy and I read. Kaite yomimas. No, because kaite is right. Kite yomimas. Kite means come. So buy is one of these words to buy and to go. You just take the first syllable. And to buy and go is hard work, so you have to take a breather. So you take the first syllable, take a breather, and add te. Katte yomimas. Katte yomimas. I buy a manga and I read it. And again, here the it is unspoken. Mango katte yomimas. Mango katte yomimas. I read a book and I write the report. Hon o yonde. Reporto o kaite. Ka- and, and because I write the report is the last action word in oh, the sentence, sorry. we've got to use mas at the end. It's only the first verb that we put in the te form. The second or last verb remains with the mas ending. Hon o yonde reporto o kakimas. Hon o yonde reporto o kakimas. I drink French wine and watch the movie. Furansu. Um. So we're joining two nouns together. We're describing wine. We're saying it's the wine of France. Yeah, okay. Furansu no wine nonde. Okay, and, and your wine is what you're drinking. It's having something done to it, so it needs a marker. Furansu no wine o nonde. Um. Watch a movie. Eiga o mimas. Furansu no wine o nonde. Eiga o mimas. And we can also use this grammar point for saying things that happened in the past, such as I wrote a report and I drank coffee. We just need to put the final verb into the past tense, like watashi wa reporto o kaite, kohi o no mimashita. And notice how we don't put the kaite or the verb to write into the past tense. It's the final verb that determines the tense. So I went and I bought. Ite kaimashita. Ite kaimashita. I went to Japan and saw Mount Fuji. Nihon ni ite fuji san o mi, mimashita. Nihon ni itte fujisan wo mimashita. I drank beer and spoke to my friend or spoke with my friend. Watashi wa biru wo nonde tomodachi to hanashimashita. Watashi wa biru wo nonde tomodachi to hanashimashita. I ate sushi with chopsticks and drank sake. Hashi de sushi o tabete sake o nomimashita. Hashi de sushi o tabete sake o nomimashita. And if we wanted to be more polite, how would we more be more polite in that sentence? O hashi de. And more polite again. O sushi be, o. There's three opportunities here to be more polite. O hashi de o sushi o tabete o sake o nomimashita. O hashi de o sushi o tabete o sake o nomimashita. We can join a number of sentences together by putting our action words into the te form, but it can begin to sound unnatural if we join a lot of sentences together. So it's best not to join more than two verbs plus the final mass or match the verb. So if we want to say, 
more than two verbs with the final verb, how else might we join the sentences together to mean and? Soste. So we can say something like tabette, nonde, mimas, soste, ikimas, if we want to join more than two or three verbs together. The te form also implies the word then. So when we use tabette, no mimas, it's I eat and then I drink, or I eat and I drink. So I will eat sushi, drink coffee, and I will write the report. O sushi o tabete. Can you put o in front of coffee? No. No, so it's only, only but Japanese But it's a good question. It, it's not every noun that o can go before. And generally, you don't put o before words that are borrowed from a foreign language. So because kohi is coming from a foreign language, we don't put it. Not a polite word. Okay. What was the sentence again? I will eat sushi, drink coffee, and I will write the report. Watashi wa o sushi o tabete, kohi o nonde, reporto o kakimasu. Watashi wa o sushi o tabete, kohi o nonde, reporto o kakimasu. And that sentence could also have been said like sushi o tabete, kohi o nomimas, soshite reporto o kakimas. I ate sushi, I drank beer, and then I phoned my friend. Watashi wa o sushi o tabete, biru o nonde, tomodachi to. Den wa de hanashimashita. Watashi wa o sushi o tabete, biru o nonde, tomodachi to den wa de hanashimashita. And there are a number of ways of saying that sentence correctly. So, whereas you said, I spoke with my friend on the phone, you could also have said, o sushi o tabete, biru o nonde, tomodachi ni den wa oshimashita. And here we're just, the nuance is just slightly different. We're saying the, I made a phone call to my friend, tomodachi ni den wa oshimashita. I spoke with my friend, then I went to work and read the report. Tomodachi to hanashite, shigoto ni itte, reporto o kakimashita. So you read the report. I read, read the report. Um... I spoke with my friend, then I went to work and read the report. Tomodachi to hanashite, shigoto ni itte, reporto o yomimashita. Tomodachi to hanashite, shigoto ni itte, reporto o yomimashita. And we might want to add to that sentence, but because we're adding new verbs, it might begin to sound unnatural if we just put reporto or yonde and started a few more verbs. So we'll start a new sentence. And then, or and, um, I drank coffee and wrote emails. So shite kohi o tabete. Okay, so you didn't eat the coffee, you drank the coffee. Oh, no, no, nonde. Meilu. Meilu. Mm-hmm. Kakimashita. And the email is what you wrote. Mm. So what marker will email have? O. Oh. Meilu o kakimashita. Soshite kohi o nonde meilu o kakimashita. We've also used kudasai. And we used kudasai to say, please, can I have X or X, please? And we put the marker O after the item we wanted. So if we wanted to ask for sushi or please, may I have some sushi? How did we say that? O sushi o kudasai. Perfect. And you've been polite there as well with your honorific or your polite prefix marker O. O sushi o kudasai. And can I have some flowers, please? Although we don't know the word for some, but in English, in natural English, we'd say, could I have some flowers, please? But in Japanese, this would be, can I have flowers, please? O hana o kudasai. O hana o kudasai. Coffee, please. Kohi o kudasai. Kohi o kudasai. Or we might want to ask for a map. 
and the Japanese word for map is chizu. So we can think of emmental cheese. Emmental cheese with the holes in it can sometimes look like a map. So please, may I have a map? Chizu o kudasai. Chizu o kudasai. Or we may want a map of Tokyo. Tokyo no chizu o kudasai. Tokyo no chizu o kudasai. Or we might want to ask for a map of Japan. Nihon no chizu o kudasai. Nihon no chizu o kudasai. Or maybe we want a pen. And the word for a pen in Japanese is pen. Pen o kudasai. Pen o kudasai. Of course, we can ask for or request things other than items. We can request somebody to eat, to drink, or to go. I can say, please eat, please drink. And you can think of kudasai as a form of the verb to give. So if I'm requesting you to do a verb, we already have the tools to do this. We simply add kudasai to our action word, or the action words that would end in te. So tabete kudasai would mean please eat. Here, the te form no longer means and or and then. In fact, this te form is useful in a number of ways. It's a key jigsaw shape as we build up our range of Japanese sentences. And it is the shape or the form of the verb that we have to use in order for the word to join to kudasai. So if I want to say please drink. Non de kudasai. Non de kudasai. Please look. Mite kudasai. Mite kudasai. Please go. Itte kudasai. Itte kudasai. Please buy. Katte kudasai. Katte kudasai. Please do. Shite kudasai. Shite kudasai. So sometimes you will hear Japanese people say shite kudasai or shite kudasai. And both of these are okay. Shite kudasai or shite kudasai. Please read. Yonde kudasai. Yonde kudasai. Please come. Kite kudasai. Kite kudasai. Please speak. Hanashite kudasai. Hanashite kudasai. Please write. Kaite kudasai. Kaite kudasai. Please go by bus. Basu de shite kudasai. Okay, you're going to go by bus. Basu de ite kudasai. Basu de ite kudasai. Please buy flowers at the department store. De parto de o hana o kaite kudasai. Okay, you're not writing the flowers, you're buying the flowers. Kate kudasai. De parto de o hana o kate kudasai. Please come by taxi. Takushi de kite o kudasai. And we don't need the o in here because we're we only need an o if we're asking for a noun. So you put something like chizu o kudasai to ask for a map. And that follows our rule that every noun is followed by a marker except if the noun is followed by des. So chizu o kudasai fits in with our rule because chizu needs a marker because it's a noun. But if we're saying kite kudasai, kite is not a noun, so therefore it doesn't take a marker. And it's in the correct form to join onto the kudasai word. So takushi de kite kudasai. Takushi de kite kudasai. So please write an email in Japanese. Mailu o ka kate. So you're writing, so Kylie is writing. Kaite kudasai. Okay, and we want to specify that we're writing by means of Japanese. So we're writing the email, mm. but we're writing the email through or by means of Japanese. So Nihon, Nihon go de. Um, Meilu o Nihon go de kaitu, kaite, kaite kudasai. Meilu o Nihon go de kaite kudasai. Please read the Japanese book. Nihongo no hon o yonde kudasai. Nihongo no hon o yonde kudasai. 
Please eat sushi with chopsticks. O sushi o ohashi de tabete kudasai. O sushi o ohashi de tabete kudasai. And you correctly used your polite prefix before the words sushi and hashi. And please speak Japanese with my Japanese friends. Nihongo no otomodachi to. Okay, they're not your Japanese language friends, they're、ah. Japanese nationality. Nihon no otomodachi to. Nihongo o hanashite kudasai. You, you used the word o there with tomodachi, and you're correct in that you can use the o polite prefix before tomodachi. However, you can't use the polite prefix when you're referring to your own friends. It, it sounds, it, you must try and humble your own friends to elevate the speaker you're, you're speaking to. So if you're talking about somebody else's friends, you can say, o tomodachi. But when you're talking about your own friends, you just say, tomodachi. Nihon no tomodachi to Nihongo o hanashite kudasai. Nihon no tomodachi to Nihongo o hanashite kudasai. And Japanese friends can be Nihon no tomodachi, as you said, or equally we could say Nihon jin no tomodachi. Both of those are okay. Please play tennis with him tomorrow. What was the word for tomorrow? Ashita. So please play tennis with him tomorrow. Ashita kareto tenisu o shito kudasai. And the ending before. Shite kudasai. So the ending before kudasai, shite kudasai. Ashita kareto tenisu o shite kudasai. Please phone next week. Raishu denwa o shite kudasai. Raishu denwa o shite kudasai. Please phone her next week. Raishu kanojo to denwa de shite kudasai. So if you're saying denwa de, you have to say denwa de hanashite kudasai. Please speak by means of phone. But if you're saying please phone her, denwa o shite kudasai. So denwa o shimas is to make a phone call, or literally it means to do a phone. So denwa o shimas, to make a phone call. Denwa de hanashimas is to speak on the phone. So denwa o shite kudasai, please make a phone call. Denwa de hanashite kudasai is please speak. On the phone. So, denwa de hanashimas or denwa o shimas. Either one of those is okay. And you can say kanojo to or kanojo ni. But in this sentence, because I stated in English, please phone her next week, it's probably more natural to say kanojo ni, denwa o shite kudasai. Raishu kanojo ni denwa o shite kudasai. As well as requesting somebody to do something using the te ending with kudasai, we've also used the te ending of a verb to talk about a sequence of actions and to link actions into one sentence, similar to the use of and in English. If we want to stress that one action is immediately followed by another action, or if we want to stress that after we do the first action, we do the next, then we add kara to the te ending of the first verb in the sequence. So I went to work and then I immediately wrote a report would be shigoto ni itte kara reporto wo kakimashita. And after I wrote the report, I went there reporto wo kaite kara soko ni ikimashita. So this is a completely different kara to the one we used to give a reason. So when kara is attached to te ending of verbs, it means after or following. If kara is attached to the mas ending of verbs, It means because. So he played golf. Gorufu, oh, kare wa gorufu o shimas. Oh, shimashita. Kare wa gorufu o shimashita. And now we want to say that he played golf and immediately after that, or straight after that, he drank a beer. Kare wa gorufu o shite kara biru o nomimashita. Good. Kare wa gorufu o shite kara biru o nomimashita. And he played golf, and then immediately after that, he drank beer with his friends. Kare wa gorufu o shite 
tomodachi to iru o nomimashita. And that sentence is okay, except what you've said is he played golf and then he drank beer with his friends. But now we just want to get in the nuance that it was immediately following his golf that he drank the beer with his friends. So when we want to stress that one action immediately follows a second action, we just put the te form with kara. So can you try that again with he played golf and then immediately after that he drank beer with his friends. Kare wa korufu o shite kara. Tomodachi to biru o nomimashita. Kare wa golufu o shite kara. Tomodachi to biru o nomimashita. And in this example, we could have said o tomodachi to biru o nomimashita because we're talking about his friends. So they're not my friends, so it's his friends, so we could have put in otomodachi. I worked. Shigoto o shimashita. And after I worked, or immediately after I worked, I went to my friend's house by train. Shigoto o shitekara densha de uchi no tomodachi ni ikimashita. Okay, and it's, first of all, you're going to a house. The house is then belonging to your friend. So you need to link friend's house. It's the house of my friend. So we need the apostrophe S marker. Oh, I put it on the wrong thing. You just put it the other way around, mm. yeah. Um, tomodachi no uchi ni um, ikimashita. So if we put that all that sentence together, immediately after I worked, I went to my friend's house by train. Shigoto o shite kara densha de Tomodachi no uchi ni ikimashita. Good. Shigoto o shite kara densha de tomodachi no uchi ni ikimashita. And after I watched TV, I read a book. Terebi o mite kara hon o yomimashita. Terebi o mite kara hon o yomimashita. So we've said that if, if kara follows the te form of the verb, it means immediately after. If kara follows the mass ending of the verb, it means because. So they're very similar. So we've just had a sentence. After I watched TV, I read a book. Terebi o mite kara, hono yomi mashita. If we wanted to say, because I watched TV, I didn't read a book. So now we're using kara to mean because. So how would we say that sentence? Terebi o mi mashita kara. Hon o, hon o, yomi masen, no, yomi masen deshita. Perfect. Terebi o mimashita kara, hon o yomi masen deshita. After I went to Tokyo, I went to Hiroshima. Tokyo ni itte kara, Hiroshima ni ikimashita. Tokyo ni itte kara, Hiroshima ni ikimashita. And Hiroshima is about five hours by bullet train from Tokyo. And similarly, because I went to Tokyo, I spoke Japanese. Tokyo ni ikimashita kara nihongo de hanashimashita. Tokyo ni ikimashita kara nihongo de hanashimashita. And equally here we could have said Tokyo ni ikimashita kara nihongo o Hanashimashita. The word mono in Japanese means a thing, and it's often used to make new nouns in the language. So for some verbs, you can replace mas with mono. So tabemas becomes tabemono, and it means a thing to eat, which is food. So what do you think nomimono might mean? Something to drink. Yeah, or drink. And kaimono. Something to buy, shopping. Shopping. And there's two ways we can use kaimono in a sentence. We can say, I do shopping, or I go to shopping. So if we just want to say, I do shopping. Kaimono shimas. And we need the marker there. Ka to... Kaimono o shimas. Kaimono shimas. And we can also have kaimono as the destination. We can go to shopping. Kaimono ni ikimasu. Kaimono ni ikimasu. I buy food and then I go to work. Tabemono o 
Okate. Shigoto o shimas. So I go to work. So work is now our destination. O shigoto ni ikimas. Tabemono katte shigoto ni ikimas. And I buy food and immediately after that I go to work. Tabemono katte kara shigoto ni ikimas. Tabemono katte kara shigoto ni ikimas. After I wrote the report, I went to shopping. So I went shopping would be natural English. Reporto uh, kaki te. Okay, and it's, it's an irregular verb. So we can't just replace mas with te. It's kakate. Kylie is writing. Kaite. So after I wrote the report. Reporto o kaite kara. I went shopping. Kato no ni ikimas. So we replace the mas ending of the verb with mono. So kaimas becomes kaimono for the noun shopping. Kaimono ni ikimas. And maybe to put that all together in a sentence, after I wrote the report, I went shopping. The porto o kaite kara um, kaimono ni ikimas. Ikimashita? Ikimashita. Ikimashita. o kaite kara kaimono ni ikimashita. I went shopping and I bought food and drink. And here we need to link food and drink together with the marker, which is similar to the word and, which is used to connect two nouns, to link two nouns together. Kaimono ni itte kara. Does that need a kara? Well, this, in the English sentence, I didn't say I went shopping and then immediately after that I bought food and drink. Mm. It's clear if you just say I went shopping and I bought food and drink, it's okay to just join them with a simple te form to join two sentences together. Kaimono ni itte, tabemono to nomimono o kaimashita. Kaimono ni itte, tabemono to nomimono o kaimashita. After I spoke with her on the phone, I went shopping. Kanojo to denwa de hanashite kara. Hanashite kara. I went oh, shopping. Yeah. Kaimono ni ikimashita. Excellent. Kanojo to denwa de hanashite kara. Kaimono ni ikimashita. And we could have said also, Kanojo to denwa o shite kara kaimono ni ikimashita. So you know the word kimono in Japanese. What is kimono? It's a pretty piece of clothing. It's, it's traditional, it's traditional costume Japanese in Japan. Costume. Yes. So now that you know that no, what nomimono is and tabemono and kaimono, you should be able to guess what the verb to wear is in Japanese. So kimas. Kimas, perfect. So the Japanese word for to wear is kimas. And of course, we've done another verb, kimas, as well, which is the verb to come. And they're both, they're both the same. And it'll be clear from the context which it is you're referring to. So I wear. Kaimas. No, that's I buy. I wear. Oh, kimas. And we want to highlight that I'm wearing. Watashi wa kimas. Watashi wa kimas. And I wear a kimono. Kimono o kimas. Kimono o kimas. She wears a t-shirt. Kanojo wa t-shirtsu o kimas. Kanojo wa t-shirtsu o kimas. So we, we'll now pull together the new structures that we've learned and weave in the previous learning that you've acquired in the foundation course. So we've covered nagara and we said that nagara was doing two actions simultaneously i eat while i read it is tabe nagara yomimas and we can also think of it as while i eat i read while eating i read so after i read the emails while i relaxed i phoned my friend so the first part of the sentence will be after i read the emails or immediately after i read the emails and then the second part of the sentence you're doing two verbs at the same time you're relaxing and you're phoning your friend.
So after I read the emails, while I relaxed, I phoned my friend. Meru wo yonde relaxu o shinagara tomodachi ni denwa o shimashita o denwa o shimas. I phoned my friend, so you're correct. Phone. It's okay. been the past tense. Meru wo yonde relaxu o shinagara tomodachi ni denwa o shimashita. And in the English sentence, I specified that it was after I read the emails, so it probably would be more accurate to capture the meaning of after by putting te kara. So how would we say immediately after I read the emails? While I relaxed, I phoned my friend. Emailu wo yonde kara, relaxu wo shinagara, tomodachi ni denwa wo shimashita. Emailu wo yonde kara, Relaxu o shinagara, tomodachi ni denwa o shimashita. And after I eat this, while reading a comic book, I will drink wine. So the first part of your sentence is, I will eat this. And then immediately after eating this, you're going to do two actions simultaneously. You're going to read a comic and drink wine. Kore o... Um, tabete kara... Manga o... Yonde, yonde, yonde. You're doing the two actions simultaneously. Oh, this is Nagara. Um, you're reading a comic book mm. while you're drinking yeah. wine. Manga o nomi Nagara. So you're reading the comic book, not drinking it? What did I say then? You said manga o nomi Nagara. Oh, no, I meant read. Manga o yomi Nagara. Um, wine. Or nomimashita. In fact, I asked for the future tense. I will drink. Nomimas. Good. Kore o tabete kara manga o yominagara wine o nomimas. So we've used kara to give a reason, and we made a distinction between te kara and mas kara. So when kara follows the te form of a verb, it means after or following, and when kara follows either mas, mashita, and so forth, or des, deshta, and so forth. It means reason, because, or therefore. And we also have learned a few new adjectives. So the, the word for easy. Kantan. And the word for clean or beautiful. Kire. The word for convenient. Benri. And the word for kind. Shinsetsu. So this is easy. Um, kore o shinsetsu desu. Easy. Oh, kantan desu. And this is easy. So we just want to highlight this. Oh, kore wa kantan desu. Kore wa kantan desu. This is easy, so read it, please. Kore wa kantan desu kara yonde kudasai. Kore wa kantan desu kara yonde kudasai. This is beautiful. Kore wa... Oh, ka, uh, kire. Yeah. Kore wa kire desu. Kore wa kire desu. This is beautiful, so buy it, please. Kore wa kire desu kara kite kudasai. Kite kudasai would mean this is beautiful, so please wear it, or this is beautiful, so please come, but please buy it. Katte kudasai. Kore wa... Kirei desu kara katte kudasai. The train is convenient. Den wa o um, benri desu. Okay, den wa wa benri desu is, is a perfect sentence in Japanese, except that means the phone is convenient, which of course oh, it is. Den, so sha, <laughs> den sha o benri desu. Benri desu, it is convenient. If we want to say, if we're highlighting that it's the train that is convenient, what marker do we use with train? Densha wa benri desu. Yes. Densha wa benri desu. And we've used te kudasai to request an action. But we can also um, request somebody to do two actions. We can ask somebody to eat and drink or to go and to come back. And we can just put the final verb with kudasai. We don't have to put the kudasai with both verbs. So the train is convenient. So go and come back by train, please. First of all, we can 
join the two verbs together, to go and to come. So go and come. Itekimasu. And to go and come, please. Itekite kudasai. And to go and come by train, please. Densha de itekite kudasai. Good. And then the reason trains are convenient, therefore, please go and come by train. Densha wa denri desu kara. Densha de itekite kudasai. Densha wa denri desu kara. Densha de itekite kudasai. Because my friend is kind, I bought this and went to his house. So we'll start off with our reason first. The reason is, my friend is kind. Watashi no tomodachi um, shin, shin so des. The kind nurse will make sure that he's shin sets. Shin setsu des. Kara. Okay, and, and what marker do we use with my friend? I thought no was my. Watashi no is my, but then we have to say my friend is kind. Um, so we're so, highlighting friend. Oh, I see. Watashi no tomodachi wa shinsetsu desu kara. And then we're saying I bought this and went to his house. Kore wa? No, I bought this, so this is what has the action. We're doing an oh, action kore to o. this. Ikimashita. Oh. So I bought this and I went. Oh, buying. Kore o kate. Um, I went to his house. Uchi ni ikimashita. And if we want to specify that it's his house and not my house that I went to. Um, this is the word for he is. Kare. And for so, his. Oh, kare no uchi ni ikimashita. Perfect. So the first part of our sentence we said. Watashi no tomodachi wa shinsetsu desu kara. And then the second part we had kore o katte, kare no uchi ni ikimashita. So do we want to put them together as one sentence? So because my friend is kind, I bought this and went to his house. Watashi no tomodachi wa shinsetsu desu kara kore o katte, kare no Uchi ni ikimashita. Perfect. Well done. Watashi no tomodachi wa shinsetsu desu kara kore o katte kare no uchi ni ikimashita. So we have also used masho and mashoka, masen, masenka. And you can have a sequence using the te form of the verb followed by masho or masen. And it's the last verb that has the masho or the masen ending. The first verb has the te ending. So, shall we go shopping and then have a coffee? Or and then drink coffee? Kaite? Is it kaite? So, we're going shopping. So, shopping is our destination. Okay, yeah. Kaimono ni itte, kohi o nomimashou ka? Good. Kaimono ni itte. Shall we watch a movie and then eat at a restaurant? Eiga o mite. Restaurant. Um, and you're eating in the restaurant. The restaurant is the location ni. where the action is happening. Restaurant de tabemashoka. Perfect. Eiga o mite. Restaurant de tabemashoka. Let's eat sushi and then play golf. Sushi o tabete, golfu o shimashou. Sushi o tabete, golfu o shimashou. And after we've drunk sake, let's go there. So it's immediately after drinking the sake that we go there. O sake o non de kara, soko ni ikimashou ka? No, ikimashou. Osake o nonde kara, soko ni ikimashou. Soko ni ikimashou ka would mean, shall we go there? But soko ni ikimashou is, let's go there. Shall we go shopping after eating? Tabete kara, shigoto ni ikimashou ka. And we're going shopping, not to work. Ah, uh, kaimono ni ikimashou ka. 
Do you want to say the whole sentence together? Tabete kara kaimono ni ikimashou ka. Tabete kara kaimono ni ikimashou ka. Won't you buy food after you've watched the film? So the order in Japanese would be after you've watched the film, won't you buy food? Eiga o mitte kara tabemono o uh, won't you? At uh, uh, kai kai masenka. Eiga o mitte kara tabemono o kai masenka. Let's buy some drink after we've eaten this. Kore o tabete kara nomimono o kai ka. Uh, kaimashō. Kore o tabete kara nomimono o kaimashō. So we've used the word imas, and we know that imas is used to say that something animate is existing. And we can also use imas to say that we have something that is animate, like I have friends or I have parents. So what is the verb to show existence of an animate object? Imas. And when we wanted to say that I have parents, we said ryōshin ga imas. And he has Japanese friends. Kare wa tomoda. Yes, you're, you're right. So you're saying as for him, mm. Japanese friends exist. Tomodachi ga imas. Kare wa tomodachi ga imas. But if we want to be specific that it's Japanese friends he has, we're describing the word friends with Japanese. Kare wa nihon no um, tomodachi ga imas. Perfect. Kare wa nihon no tomodachi ga imas. And equally here we could have said kare wa nihonjin no tomodachi ga imas. So for Japanese friends we can say either nihon no tomodachi or nihonjin no tomodachi. She has friends in Tokyo. Now here Tokyo is the place where my friends are existing. So just be careful of the marker we use with Tokyo. Kanojo wa Tokyo ni tomodachi ga imasu. Kanojo wa Tokyo ni tomodachi ga imasu. So you correctly use the ni particle here to mark Tokyo. And that's correct because the verb at the end of the sentence was imasu. And whenever we're using imasu or arimasu, because we're talking about existence, we would mark the place by ni. If, however, there was an action verb at the end of that sentence, such as tabemas, we'd have marked Tokyo with de. So Tokyo de tabemas, but Tokyo ni imas. We can also use imas by attaching it onto action words that end in te or de, such as nonde, shite, tabete. And this gives the meaning of doing something right now, like I am right now in the process of eating, I am drinking. And this is similar to the ing form of the English. So tabemas means I eat or I will eat, but tabete imas means I am eating. So how would we say I am watching? Mite imas. Mite imas. I am drinking. Non deimas. Non deimas. He is doing. Kare wa shiteimas. Kare wa shiteimasu. And shimas in Japanese can mean either to do, as in shigoto o shimas, to do work, denwa o shimas, to make, to make a phone call, or tenisu o shimas, to play. So it can mean to do, to make, or to play. So if we wanted to say he is playing tennis, tenisu o shiteimasu. And we want to highlight that he is the doer of the verb. Kare wa tenisu o shiteimasu. Kare wa tenisu o shiteimasu. And she is coming by taxi. Kanojo wa takushi de ikiteimasu. No, to come, it's actually regular. Oh, that's good. Um, kiteimasu. Yeah. Kanojo wa takushi de kiteimasu. What is she reading? Now, it's a while since we've come across the word for what. Do you remember what what is? Think of the person who minds kids. Nani. So what is she reading? Kanojo wa nani o yondeimasu ka? 
彼女は何を読んでいますか And my friend is buying flowers. 私の友達を。So my friends are buying. And what they're buying is flowers. So I want to say I eat. What marker do I use with I? 私は食べます。So, so 私は食べます。I eat. My friends are buying. What would mark my friends? 私の友達はおはんの。So Hannah, Hannah is as pretty as a flower. おはなを。きかいて。かいて is the te form of the verb to write. But かいます we just take the first syllable and go and shopping. It's tiring work, so we need to take a breather. So just take the first syllable, take a breather, and then we add te. かて。And then we add the te ending with imas to give us the ing form of the verb. Kate imas. And the whole sentence together. My friend is buying flowers. Watashi no tomodachi wa ohana o kate imas. Watashi no tomodachi wa ohana o kate imas. And you correctly attach the polite prefix o to hana to make your sentence sound even more polite. I am speaking Japanese. Watashi wa nihongo o hanashiteimasu. Watashi wa nihongo o hanashiteimasu. The Japanese word for to enter is hairimasu. So think of when you enter a place, you say hai. Hairimasu, to enter. And the Japanese word for to leave is demas. Think of what day must you leave? What day must you leave? Demas. So, how would we say to enter? Hairimas. Hairimas. And to leave? Demas. Demas. And if we enter a place, that place is going to be marked by ni. So, hoteru ni hairimas. And we can think here that the hotel is the destination. We're entering. To the hotel, it'll be the destination marker. So if I said I enter the restaurant, Restorano, no, Restorani Hairimas. Restorani Hairimas. And if we leave a place or we go out of a place, then that place is marked by O. So you can think that the O marker is what is used because you leave a place, so it's having something done to it. Or you can think of if you're going out of a place, the word out begins with O. That's the O particle. So I leave the house. Uchi O.、Um, What day must you leave? Domas. Demas. Oh, demas. Uchi O Demas. And she enters the hotel. Kanojo wa hotelu ni hairimas. He leaves the restaurant. Restaurant ni. No. Kare wa restaurant ni. Dei wa. Demas. Except when you're leaving,、demas. you're going out of a place. O demas. So the whole sentence he leaves the restaurant. Kare wa restaurant o. So, you should now be able to make the te form of the action word to leave. What would the te form of demas be? Dete. Dete. And please leave. Dete kudasai. Dete kudasai. I leave the house and go to the department store. Watashi wa uchi de. No, uchi o. Dete, departo ni ikimas. Good. Watashi wa uchi o dete, departo ni ikimas. And she is in the process of leaving the hotel. So when we were saying in the process of, we attach the te ending of the verb with imas. So she is leaving the hotel. Kanojo wa hotelu o dete imas. Kanojo wa Hotelu wo dete imas. I'm confused between the nagara and this because you've got two different forms of ing going on. 
You know, we've had a whole lot of sentences of we did this while speaking, and that was a different sort of ing. When we were using nagara, it, it's not really an ing form of the verb. We're simply saying that there are two actions being done, and they're being done simultaneously. They're being done at the same time. But this is an ing form of the verb. And maybe when we were doing some of the nagara sentences, we said, while I was eating, I drank. And this is more because that's how it would be naturally said in English. But in Japanese, nagara is, does not have the meaning of ing contained in the verb. To have the meaning of ing contained in the verb, we use the te form with imas. What did we say the verb to enter was in Japanese? Hairimas. The te form of hairimas is slightly irregular. You just take the sound hai, take a breath, and add te. Haite. Haite. So please come in or please enter. Haite kudasai. Haite kudasai. I enter the house and watch TV. Uchi ni kaite. Kaite is a te form of the verb to write, but you're entering the house. Oh, hairimas. Uchi ni haite terebi o mimas. Uchi ni haite terebi o mimas. He is leaving the restaurant, so he's in the process of going through the door now. Kare wa uchi de. He's actually leaving the restaurant, and when you're leaving, you're going out of oh. the place. So think of the out, out of the the o marker there. They sound like yeah. o. Kare wa restaurant o. Dote. What day must he leave? Dete. And the ending of dete to show that it's the ing form of the verb. Dete imas. So the whole sentence. Kare wa restaurant o dete imas. Kare wa restaurant o dete imas. To help us to remember to leave, we said, what day must you leave? So you then said de mas, but it's actually just a short De, it's more de mas rather than de mas. So can you try that again to be in the process of leaving? De te. With the ending at de the end? De te imas. De te imas. I want to leave. So what was the ending we added to verbs to express the meaning of want to? Tai des. So want to leave? De tai des. Detai des. Don't want to leave. De tan, tanu kai des. So it's close. So we replace tai des with takunai des. De takunai des. De takunai des. I want to enter. He, he tai so des. When, when you enter a place, what do you say? Hi, hi, hi tai des. And when we're forming the Thai form of the verb, we just omit the the mass. So to enter. Hi rimas. And want to enter. Hi ri tai des. Hi ri tai des. Don't want to enter. Hi ri takunai des. Hi ri takunai des. I don't want to leave. De takunai des. De takunai des. It is interesting, therefore I don't want to leave. Omoshiroi desu kara detakunai desu. Omoshiroi desu kara detakunai desu. I don't want to enter. Hai, hai takunai desu. So, I want to enter. It's hai di tai desu. So, you just replace the ma, the tai desu with takunai desu. Hairi takunai desu. Hairi takunai desu. My friends are not there, therefore I do not want to enter. And friends exist. And because we're talking about existence, we would mark the place by ni. So, my friends are not there, therefore I do not want to enter. Soko ni tomodachi ga imasen kara. Hairi takunai desu. Soko ni tomodachi ga imasen kara hairitaku nai desu.